Welcome back, ladies and germs. Fix this. Okay. Welcome back, ladies and germs. Mr. O here with another episode of Walk Me Through. We're going to walk you through The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time for the Switch. Well, for the N64 using the uh, N64 online service. So... Now, in our last video, we just spoke with, what's his face? Oh, yeah, Sheik. We just spoke with Sheik, and he just gave us a new song to learn in the Crater of Death Mountain. And when I start the game up, we're going to wind up back in the Temple of Time, and then I'm going to show you what that song does. It'll definitely take us back to Death Mountain Crater. And from there on, we're going to go inside the Fire Temple and rescue some Gorons. Not to mention, get a very powerful hammer. So powerful and so heavy that you need both hands. And while you have it equipped, you won't be able to use your shield. So, sit back and relax and enjoy the video. And so here we are back in the Temple of Time. What we're going to do is we're going to warp to Death Mountain. Oh, I just love this song. So here we are back in the Death Mountain Crater. We have to have our red tunic equipped, otherwise we'll die from heat exhaustion. We'll have a major heat stroke and die. So here we go. Down into the fire temple. I usually just drop down, but it's a long way down. Ow! Big mistake, Jake. Oh, Navi is calling me. Yes, there is. There is something strange about that cloud over Death Mountain. So here we are in the Fire Temple. And we've got to deal with a bunch of these flaming bats. So the first thing to do is go through this door. And we're going to meet up with a very old friend of ours. get the key to that door. I guess Gorons are very good locksmiths. And if that was the case, then they, these Gorons would not need my help. So let's rescue this first one here. That's one down. Let's talk to this guy here. Well, 
that Goron escaped. So, there is a key in the cell. Moving on. There's also a fairy in this room. And let me tell you, it's quite hot in here. Oops, did not mean to do that. Now, if memory serves me, I can't talk. If memory serves me correctly, there is a fairy in one of these parts. There it is. Mine. Ooh, let's see. Okay. Yes. Come here. Mine. Ooh, bomb. Mine. Yeah. I'm gonna have a hell of a time getting back. Ow. Uh, well, at least I didn't get hurt that much. And that's gotta hurt. Now that we've got the key, we can open this door over here. So, there's two Gorons held prisoner. One to the left and the one to the right. Let's go to the left first. Ow. 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 These bats would get out of the way. Now, before we go rescuing that Goron in that cell, let's play the Song of Time, and I'll explain why in a minute. So let's climb up on top of this block of time and mosey on into this room. Now, there's a familiar foe that you may find in other Zelda games. These tiles will start spinning around and then they'll come attacking you. But in this case, you gotta ready your shield. I don't think your sword would do much good. At least I don't think so anyway. Oh! Actually, yes it does. But there's also a like-like in here, so... Let's deal with it the best way we can. Because you do not want to be caught by this thing. Not only will it steal your shield, but it'll strip you of the tunic you're wearing, leaving you with only your green tunic, which would really suck. The reason why I came in here is because there is a Skulchula. There is a gold Skulchula here, which we just squished. Oops, did not mean to do that. I meant to do this. Mine. Now, how many Skulchulas was it again? Whoa, looks like I've got enough to get my prize from the House of Skulchula. But we'll have to wait until much later on. Moving on. Let's play the Song of Time again and rescue that prisoner. I am still getting used to this controller! It's been a long time since I've actually held an N64 controller. Even if this is a 2021 recreation of said controller. So here is the prisoner. And this one will give us another tip. The special crop that they're talking about are, of course, bombs. Of course. And now we get another small key that we can use. So let's mosey on back this way. Head on to the room on the other side of this big lava pit here. Moving on. Now if I can just get past this part without... 
without singeing my ass, that would be great. Ow! Shit! Shit! That was too close. Oh, there was a fire bubble. You do not want to deal with those guys. Hop onto this platform. Hop over here. Oh. And, oh, fire creep. Boy, do I hate these guys with a vengeance. Now over here, there is a wall here, but listen to what happens when you hit your sword against this wall. Notice that it makes different sounds than when you hit a regular wall. So that means the wall can be blown up. And here we have a door. And with said door, we can open the cell and let this go on out. But before he escapes, he's going to tell us a little tip here. Now the crystal switch is he is what he was talking about. And the special of crop I can't talk. The special crop that he's talking about is of course the bombs. So we gotta make sure we've got plenty of bombs. That's why I bought some bombs in the last video. Like 30 of them. Anyway, it's time we moved on. Uh -oh. Ow. Oh. Ow! I tell you, these pieces are real asses. This flat... Oh shit, I forgot that platform sank. Oh. Ow! Oh, these bats. They're real pains. So let's go back this way. Climb up here and cross this bridge. It's always been a bit of a struggle with the control stick because you never know when these would fail. Even if this is brand new and pretty much redesigned. The original N64 control stick was... <laughs> yeah, many a people had various problems with their control sticks after a while. They became loose and... And the dead zone widened even farther. Now, if memory serves me correctly, I think there was a gold skull chula here. I think. Wasn't there a skull chula here? Hmm. I could have sworn there was a skull chula. Oh well. Anyway, what we have to do first is climb this chain link fence here. At least I think it's a chain link fence. Anyway, we've got to climb this fence. And then make our way up here. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Ow! Ooh. That's better. So, if we push this block here, we can create a little elevator. Why am I sucking now? Well, we created an elevator. I'm losing my touch. I'm getting older. That's what comes with getting older. Not as sharp as I used to be in my younger days. Yeah. Rightfully so, because I'm like 40 years old, even though I don't look or sound it. I get mistaken for a youngster. It's got to be my face. Anyway, hop onto this block here. Going up. Okay, okay, okay. Enough with the Conker's Bad Fur, fur Day music. Ah, can't talk. Enough with the Conker's Bad Fur Day elevator music. Anyway, this is what happens when you talk to a Goron that you haven't released yet. <laughs> 
Well, he might not be wrong. Though, that dragon will eat anything. Okay, what the hell was that? I guess that was a couple of kinks that still need to be ironed out. After all, this is emulation, more or less. So, what we have to do... Don't cut that switch just yet. That switch is timed. But instead, I'm going to show you just as soon as I get up there onto that ledge. Now, let's push this... Pull this thing out. And then we'll get up to that ledge. re-release Glover on this thing. That was actually a really fun game. If they do re-release it, I might do a let's play of it. I used to quickly shift to the right because I thought the flaming column would go up all the way. It used to scare the shit out of me. <laughs> anyway, here we are in a much larger room full of rolling rocks. You want to be very careful because those rocks hurt a lot. I, if memory serves me correctly, I think there was a bombable place here. Oh, there we go. And here we have a gold scotula. Let's squish that one. Come here. Mine. Uh-oh. Oh, that was too close. Oh, ow! That hurt. I did not see that one coming. So, let us talk to this boron here. Of course, you can swing your sword to extinguish yourself. Of course, we already knew that. When you catch on fire, I advise you to unsheathe your sword or to roll to extinguish your flames. Kind of, kind of a Link version of stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> like that. Anyway, moving on. Get another key. I think what we have to do, though... Oh, shit. There has to be another way. Now, I know there's a way to get up there. Wait. I Wasn't there a cell over here? On the lower level? I could have sworn there was. Oh, there it is. Down here. And there's another one up there somewhere. There are doors that fall down when you try to open them. Yeah, if one of them starts to move, if start of them, yeah, if they start to fall, move out of the way post haste. Of course, we can use the Goron special prop to break it. And again, the Goron special prop that he's referring to are the bombs. So. Ow! I should have... I zagged when I should have zigged. That hurt. Yeah, I zagged when I should have zigged. We got... Okay, what I tend to do is move very slowly because... I tend to move very slowly and I am definitely going to need a bow and arrow here. Yeah, I tend to move very slowly here because look how thin that 
that walkway is. I think the switch is timed as well. So if we open this chest here, I think we're gonna get either the map or the compass. And we get the map! Of course, you already know the drill. Translucent areas on the map, very clear ones. They're basically rooms that we haven't visited yet. The blue ones are rooms we visited, and the flashing rooms are the ones we're currently in. Of course, you already knew that. So let's go back this way. The door locks behind us. Yeah, the, yeah, you see why I'm moving very slowly here, because it is a long way down. And... <laughs> Let me tell you, it'll hurt like the dickens if you fall, if you can't roll in time. And you saw how I just fell off there? That's why I move slowly. Now, oh shit, I forgot about this. Now, what do you want to do? Now, because I don't have a key yet for that door over there, I'm just going to mosey on back over here and upstairs. Ooh, heart. Fine. There were some hearts up there too, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Let's just mosey on this way. There is a secret over here, but I'm not gonna get to that yet. There is a Goron downstairs in that pit. Up. Yeah. There's a Goron right beneath us, so what we need to do is blow a hole in the floor and head on downstairs. Yeah, that's a long way down. You do not want to fall down. Now that's the Goron we spoke to earlier, who said that if you, that if that dragon eats him, that dragon will have a major stomach ache. I can't talk. I'll have a major stomach ache. Another tip for rescuing this one. Yeah, there are... I think he was talking about the Flare Dancers. You'll definitely meet those guys later on. They're very formidable. There's two of them in this dungeon. And we get a key. But before we move on, let's go rescue that Goron back upstairs. Oh man, it is a long way upstairs. Uh oh. Will you die already? Very careful here. Now there is a switch here. I think that... Yeah, I think that switch opens that cell over there. Sure enough, it does. So now let's go talk to that Goron who has another bit of info for us. For rescuing him. Even if you don't talk to him, he still gets away when you leave the room. But it's always nice to talk to them. Okay. Let's talk to this fool here. Try playing the ocarina, indeed. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly what he means. And we have another key! Hooray! So let's mosey on back this way!
I need to be very careful because these rafters are very thin. <laughs> now what we gotta do is get our ocarina of time out and play the scarecrow song. And that's exactly what he meant by, oops, did not mean to do that. Ow! Still got hurt. I did not mean to do that. So what we have to do is, oops, did not mean to do that. There is a grapple point up here, which serves as an elevator. Okay, uh, enough with the Conker's Bad Fur Day music! There is a gold Skulltula around here too. Where is it? I hear a Skulltula. I hear a gold Skulltula. And we destroyed a gold Skulltula. There's another one up there. Now, oh my god, this one is very cumbersome. You want to get up there as fast as you can before the flames start to rise again. That hurt. Let us use Ferrer's Wind to get back up there. Oop, didn't need to hit the table. I don't want to knock down this microphone. That's a $300 mic. Going up. Okay, let's try this again. And this time, let's try not to make an ass of ourselves. Gotta move fast! Ow! Ah, Foofy! Well, I could have sworn there was a Skulltula up here. Oh, it's over there. Get it. As long as we're up here, we might as well get the Skulltula. All right, let's try this again. And this time, let's try not to make an ass of ourselves. Ow! That hurt. Man, this one's always giving me a hard time. Now there's a similar room, there's a similar room where we have to get to the flame in time. You know what I should have done? I should have grappled my way to that chest, but I wouldn't have gotten there in time anyway. Oh, barely made it. Come here. Well, fucking Tom. And we get some coinage. How nice. All that just for a bit of coinage. Moving on. Anyway, we will mosey on this way. Let us go back downstairs. 
Ow, that hurt. Oh, shit. Well, you know what? As long as we're down here... You know, as long as we're down here, we might as well go this way anyway. Well... I did not want to have to deal with that flame again. Oh, shit! Yeah, I don't want to deal with that shit again. Oh, shit! Nah. Ow. What you have to do is make a little bit of a leap of faith. Ooh, that was too close. I almost got singed by that flaming wall. Moving on. Oh my gosh. This room was a real pain in the ass. And there are these doors one of these Gorons were talking about. Let's equip the special crop. <laughs> Watch what happens when you try to open it. Yeah. When it starts wiggling like that, move out of the way post haste. Because let me tell you, those doors hurt like the dickens. Ow! Yeah, try not to run into those flaming walls. Ow! Fuck! Gotta stop with the sweary Marys already. Fine. You want to be very careful here. Ooh. Yeah. Say that and I keep running into flaming walls. Well, here we are. We have another room here. We have a cell here. But we got to approach it from a different angle. Plus, we need a special... We need a certain hammer in order to... Yeah, those switches are so rusty that you cannot press it down at all without... A little bit of assistance. This switch over here is timed, so you want to be very careful here. You want to hurry up because that flaming wall will start to reignite. Ow. Oh well. Now, you would think that you could open this door, but this is actually one of those false doors. You have to destroy it in order to reveal the real doorway. Let me get some more bombs. So now let us mosey on over here, and we have to deal with a flare dancer. Oops, did not mean to do that. That's a flare dancer. What you want to do is extinguish its flaming clothing and then and then go for the core. Ow! Yeah, you want to be very careful here. You can also ex You want to like chase You want to like outmaneuver this guy. Yeah. Uh-oh. You can also extinguish this guy... You can also extinguish the Flare Dancer's clothes by using your hookshot like this. Ow! You know... The noises that this guy makes kind of reminds me of Yoshi for some reason. You know, there was an original... There was a... There was a, another song for this dungeon, but it was ultimately replaced with the current version of the song because 
It closely resembled an Islamic chant. Though I could be wrong. Which translates to God is great. Now I'm a Catholic Christian and I know this. Just like that certain symbol. Oh shit! When you defeat this guy, it will explode, so... Yeah, move out of the way. Anyway, with that flare dancer gone, we can take the elevator upstairs. Going up. I gotta stop with the Conker's Bad Fur Day music. For real. Now this is one of these crystal switches one of these Gorons were talking about. They are timed, so we gotta... Yeah. You saw that one earlier on. You saw that one early. So we gotta drop a bomb here, wait here, and quickly climb this chain link fence post haste before the flames reignite. I used to always move to the right because I always thought that the flaming column would reignite further up. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So. Um. I think now would be a good time to cast the, uh. Yeah, let us cast the, uh... No! I did not mean to use that one! I meant... I am blind! I am so blind! I meant to use Ferrer's Wind! Gosh, I must be blind! This is what I meant to use! Just in case we fall off, because like that other room, it is a long way down! Let me tell you, it's a real pain in the ass! You want to be very quick before the flames reignite. Ow. And we made it to that chest that time. So let's see what we have in here. We get the Megaton Hammer. Now this is the hammer that Darunia and his son were talking about. So now that we've got the Megaton Hammer, let's equip it to see down. Now this thing is so heavy that you cannot use your shield with it. You can actually ha knock this thing down. Very interesting. So, we also need this hammer for this thing here. Knock this out of the way. Uh-oh. I wonder what happens if we hammer this thing down. Oh, yeah, that happened. I forgot you have to do that. So we have to pick up one of these crates here. Put it down on this switch because it won't stay depressed if you step off of it. So, now we gotta go through this door here. We gotta... And then it... Whoa! That's a long way down. Now, there is that column up there. But we're not gonna go down there just yet. What we're gonna do, we're gonna hammer this thing. Oh! Yeah, it is rusted, so we need the Megaton Hammer to press it down to unlock this door. So, what we have to do... I think we're gonna have to play the Song of Time here. I've been playing for 30 minutes. For all, more than 30 minutes. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. I only have so much space on my phone. Oh, another one of those rusty switches. So we... So we release this Goron from its prison. Yeah, 
that. You saw those columns earlier, those little blocks that you have to hammer with the block, that you have to hammer to move away from that door earlier? He's referring to the one near the entrance of the temple. So now he got the small key. So let's go back this way. Yeah, it's one of those one-way doors. Which can be unlocked. Oh, shite. That is a long way down. You know, as long as we're down here... Yeah, you... We're going to make our way to the entrance of the temple. Those guys are a real eyesore. You know, before we do anything else, let's exit the temple real quick and I'll explain why. Just bust a cap in this old fool now. No, 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 no. Don't be stupid, motherfucker. Now let's just get the shit first. Now the reason why I'm is, yeah, the reason why I'm getting out of the temple right now is because there is a fairy fountain not too far from here, which I wasn't able to get into earlier because I did not have the Megaton Hammer. And she will enhance my magic power, which in turn gives me more magic. So let's go ahead and get that upgrade right now before we do anything else. Closer to the edge, we'll try not to fall into the lava pit. That would be really bad if I did. And it is right over here. Oops. Let's go in here and play that into the Great Fairy Fountain. Play Zelda's lullaby here. Now, I have to apologize for the shoddy quality. I'm doing this in 720p because this capture card, when there's a lot of colors on the screen all at once, it gets all messed up. And of course she's going to enhance our magic. And of course, we get healed in the process. And we get our magic enhanced. So now we have twice the magic power. Let's head back to the temple and rescue that last Goron. Oh shit, I almost fell. I couldn't see with that lettering in the way. Oh, that was close. Let's go back into the temple and rescue that last Goron. I think we've rescued eight so far. Oh, that nine? Lost count. So if we mosey on in here, we've got more we got more of these torch slugs to deal with. We can make them go belly up, which makes them more vulnerable to, a, to our attacks. 
That's another benefit of the Megaton Hammer. The only major downside is that it's really heavy. So heavy, in fact, that we can't use our shield while we're holding it. Moving on. Now, there's another one of those. Oh my gosh, I hate these things with a vengeance. Oh, that's one way to deal with it. Oh, do not get too close to this thing. It will try to eat your clothes and your shield. And there is another Skokula here. We get... I think we squashed about 32 of them so far. Let's see. Oh, it's 34. I lost count. We've got to deal with another Flare Dancer. Oh, great. We can also extinguish this guy using our hammer. See what I'm doing there? Basically outmaneuvering this guy before he gets back into the flame. Well, that takes care of you. And another chest appears. I never did get the compass, did I? Nope. Never got the compass. I forgot where it was. Oh well. More bombs. Can never have too many bombs. So here we have... Oh, another rusty switch. Now, let us talk to this Goron. Well... Well, that's all nine Gorons. So let's open this chest here. And we'll get the master key. The boss key, I mean. Thinking about a link to the past too much. So now that we got the boss key, let us mosey on over to the boss and let's kick some ass. Let's help Darunia fight that dragon. And, oh boy. I'm about to whip somebody's ass Oh, I'm about to whip somebody's ass Oh, if you don't leave me alone You're gonna have to send me home Cause I'm about to whip somebody's ass Let's hop across this platform here. And there's no going back from this point. There is no going back from this point on. Yeah, we're definitely not going back this way. Okay, that thing was gonna eat the Goron? That's what I thought the first time. It would have a, it would have rolls, like, it would have like nine rolls. So this is what we have to do. When it pops out like that, hit him over the head with the hammer. And then do a couple of strikes. Yeah. 
If you try to get info about this dragon, Navi will say that she does not know anything about that dragon. You can also hurt the dragon with the hook shot, so you gotta be very precise. Yeah, you gotta be quick, you gotta, you gotta, uh, yeah, I can't talk. You have to shoot it head on. So, we're gonna play whack-a-mole with the dragon. Now he's gonna mosey on up into the ceiling and try to get those rocks to fall on him. So, be very careful. Try not to get hit by those flaming rocks. Oh shit. Uh oh. Ow! No sooner did I... Yeah. Ow! Oh. I am low on energy. Ah, Foofy! Kill my ass. Ain't that a bitch? I gotta stop with the Tales from the Hood reference, along with the State Farm jingle. And I missed my chance to just fat this guy. Ugh. Yeah. You gotta be as close as you can in order to... Yeah. Stun him with the hammer and finish him! Link 1, Bovegia, Zip. See you in hell, Bovegia! Well, that takes care of the creation. Ah! <laughs> and of course, we're gonna get another heart container. Yippee! So, let's get out of here. That guy's been up there for seven years! And that strange looking cloud is gone, of course. And with that, we get the Medallion of Fire. So we get the Fire Medallion, along with the help of Darunia in sealing Ganondorf. <laughs> True brothers indeed. And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. In the next video, we're going to head on to the Zora's Domain again. And it is quite cold there for some reason. 
And, of course, that would probably explain why the lake has drained. But until next time, this has been Walk Me Through. I'm Mr. Rose saying peace and that's a wrap and I will see you again next time. Peace! This video's over, but if you enjoyed it, click that like button and give me a comment. And if you want to see more, click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you'll know when I post more videos. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it really helpful. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. And if you want to see more, go to my channel and look at more videos. But until next time, this is Mr. O saying peace and that's a wrap and I will see you again next time. Peace. Pervert.